film that you are about to see is a depiction of the 21st century hysterectomy created by Dr. Derry Samimi. Dr. Samimi noted over the years that significant damage occurred to the nerve supply to the bladder and the upper vagina at the time of routine vaginal or abdominal hysterectomy. Because of this, he reviewed the anatomy and created the hysterectomy for the 21st century. This technique is primarily useful for the treatment of benign disease removed abdominally. It is a reasonable alternative to vaginal hysterectomy and less risky than laparoscopically assisted vaginal approaches. Traditional concern about possible interference with sexual or bladder function postoperatively can be alleviated by recognition of the reduced surgical trauma associated with this patient-friendly modification of the most common surgical procedure in women. Dr. Samimi believes that the quality of life issues mandate that this change in technique be universally adopted. During a traditional hysterectomy, most surgeons remove the uterus by cutting the uterosacral ligaments, the cardinal ligaments of Mackenrod and the uterine vessels prior to entering the vaginal fornix and removing the main specimen. During this procedure, the bladder is either pushed down or dissected free of its attachments to facilitate the removal of the uterus. Dr. Samimi's new procedure avoids damage to Frankenhauser's nerve plexus, the vesicle plexus, and other downstream nerves. Additionally, the fibrous condensations in the endopelvic fascia are not severed and therefore continue to support the vaginal vault. During the procedure, the endocervical canal, including the T-zone, is removed using a coning technique that employs an endocoagulator. This will be demonstrated during the operative procedure. It is hoped that this procedural modification will result in fewer postoperative problems relating to urinary and sexual function. The reduced trauma described is very consistent with the surgical principle of keeping dissection and hence injury to a minimum. <laughs>